a warm day out in Carolina, the Panthers have every opportunity to take advantage of the Rams, but don't do it. Turnovers hurt them, a bunch of other things, but also the one key thing is they had some opportunities in the special teams game, weren't able to capitalize on those where the Rams usually play pretty well. A game like this where Todd Gurley doesn't get much in the first half, really goes off in the second half. Both defenses were worn out at the very end, and you could see that. The problem for the Panthers seemed to rear its ugly head again when you're driving and you give up opportunities. But with all that said, when the locker room still thinks there's some opportunities and guys there still feel like there's a lot left in this season. Whatever play call, you know, I felt confident. In it. I, I, I didn't even think about you know, my, neck, my my shoulder at no particular point, so I think that's a good sign. Uh, but I still got to stay on top of it. You know, we had an opportunity to score more than three points that we lost by, and, and that's what it really comes down to. So, you know, through my lens right now, yeah, I, you know, I'm extremely frustrated. But at the end of the day, you know, can't do nothing about it. I think if we go into the game on Thursday and these same things, you know, lingers, you know, that's – Shame on us, you know what I'm saying? You know, we do have a young team, but at the end of the day, we have great leadership uh, that's capable of pushing us through through and over the hump. So clearly many opportunities when you lose 30 to 27. The one missed opportunity was Christian McCaffrey. He had an outstanding game, both in the receiving game and running the football. His rushing totals, 19, yard, 19 carries for 128 yards, two touchdowns, 6.7 yards per carry, but in the receiving game, 10 catches, 81 yards, along a 17. But the one that Cam probably wants back is that interception. He was late on that seam route to Olsen. Olsen actually turns around and claps his hands looking for the football, but Cam throws it too late, and Corey Littleton comes over and takes a pick on that one. Defensively, a lot of opportunities they left on the field, but still some really good chances. Trey Boston and Shaq Thompson both with nine tackles. A short turnaround week. They play Thursday here again, Thursday night. And after that, there'll be a long break to the next game. Panthers have to find a way to get that win Thursday night against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With that said, a lot of opportunities, a lot of season left, but they must play better offensively in order to have that happen. Uh, you know, I feel like we had, we could take some positives from the game just from the game yesterday. Of course, when we come out with a win, but you know, take some positives going into it into this game on Thursday. And like I said, we're still just searching for that first win. So um, I don't know, I don't really have a, a perfect remedy for it, but uh, we just got to go out there and, and play. Uh, we, we watched a little bit in our meeting. Um, of course, they got weapons on the outside. They got Mike Evans. They got Chris Godwin. Uh, they picked up uh, Pyramid, I think that's how you say his last name. He's fast, played him last year with the Browns. So they got some uh, playmakers on the team. Uh, it's really, they got a new offense over uh, in Tampa, so I got to get ready for that. Uh, but that just comes with watching film. From Bank of America Stadium, Panthers again, short turnaround on Thursday. But you can get any of your good news about the Panthers and anything in the Carolinas on www.adsn1.com. That's adsn1.com. I'm Charles Arbuckle. Check you out next time.